Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 8 French destroyer, the Le Fantasque. We're playing Brawl and we are in a 1 versus 1 against the Massachusetts. We're playing on the map Big Race. And the plan is what I've learned from playing these matches. That is, I picked one of the, or if not the fastest ship available with uh, good torpedoes and my plan is to simply sail towards the enemy dump all of my torpedoes into the battleship side and hope that she goes down from that and that's basically it my ship is so fast that if we make contact i'm gonna just get close enough and it should be an easy victory now i do need to worry a little bit about where the massachusetts is because i'm not quite sure but i'm guessing she'll just sail straight towards the cap you know that as you usually do because if i do get the cap i can play around you know, holding the cap zones and simply sailing around an island. So it is rather important for the battleship to at least prevent the uh, destroyer from capping. Now the most important thing in a 1 versus 1 is first contact. That is, when you first see one another and know where you are in relation to one another. That moment is the most important bit that can win or lose you the game, especially when it's like a destroyer versus destroyer. So this should be it around the corner now. Wait. I'm not spotted. And I can't see the battleship either. This is kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, maybe she's on the right. I've seen some ships head over that direction. But we got the capstone, so I'm gonna go around the island and I'm gonna start turning right. Because I've seen a CV go over there, right? With the Prince Eugen, I believe. Okay, wait, I'm spotted now. Wait, oh, oh no, oh my god. Oh no, oh, <laughs> this is bad. I didn't expect her to be there. Um, um, okay, we need to get out of concealment or detection radius. 6.4 kilometers. Okay, she missed. I still have 19k HP. Oh my god. I really didn't expect her to be there. I, wow, I didn't even know you could get over there so quickly. That caught me completely off guard. Now the other, now the question is, what do I do? While I might have a points lead, obviously the Massachusetts is going to enter the cap, and she will most likely position in a way where she can run away. So I can't like stealth torpedo her either. So what do I do now? <laughs> because it'll be extremely risky and difficult to actually get her if she's sailing away from me. Because obviously it's difficult to launch tarps there, so I would have to try to catch up with her. And she's a secondary battleship. I mean, I guess I'll just have to take the risk, because otherwise I'd simply lose. And yeah, I really should have taken radio location, or RPF. Because if I had known where the Massachusetts was going, I could have, you know, I wouldn't be in this situation. Okay, I'm gonna launch one set of torps here, and then I'm gonna turn the other way and try to get closer, because the Massachusetts is going to do evasive actions on these torpedoes, and hopefully she won't expect the torps from the other side. Now, my engine is broken, I don't want to damage control party, because if my torpedo tubes get knocked out, and I don't have damage control party, I lose immediately. I'm down to 5k HP, luckily secondaries don't fire quite behind. Come on! Let's just hope that these torpedoes are enough. I, I have nothing else. Okay. Come on. 1200 HP. 900 HP. We got it. <laughs> At 900 HP. But we got her. 66,300 damage. You know, if the Massachusetts had maybe healed, maybe she would have survived for an extra few seconds and I would have been hit by that secondary but very well played to that Massachusetts. Absolutely, definitely deserves compliments. Because that guy, because we made first contact in the wrong way, in a way where I didn't expect, the Massachusetts held an um, impressive advantage. I'm guessing she just didn't expect me to have torps from the other side, or at least not both sets. I'm guessing she expected me to die. These are the captain skills that I used, but yeah, I really, really, really should have taken radio location. Also, if you don't wish to see the captain skills, skip ahead a little bit. There will be a match against another Lefantask. 
But yeah, I should... These are the skills I use, but I really, really should. You know, if I drop the gun skill and prevent it to maintenance, I could actually just take radio location. I could just do that. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Ah, oh, the balloons. Expensive, but I, fine. You know what? I'll, I'll just do it that way. Obviously, we take grease the gears, uh, engine, or whatever it is that protects your engine. Then uh, survivability expert, RPF, concealment expert, adrenaline rush, and then fast fish or swift fish. Upgrades wise, concealment, rudder shift, although propulsion is an option. Aiming system. Wait, 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 Aiming systems, engine boost then, main armaments, but wait, why am I using aiming systems? I should be using the torpedo upgrade. Whoops. Well, I recommend that you use the torpedo upgrade because you're obviously relying on the torpedoes to actually sink the ship. So this time we're against another left and task. And as I mentioned, first contact is incredibly important. But now I have RPF, so I know exactly where the left hand Okay, I don't know exactly where she is, but I have a rough idea of where she is. And because of that, I will know where we make contact, and I can have my guns positioned correctly for that. And, you know, in the last m matches case, I could have known exactly where the Massachusetts was, and I wouldn't have been surprised. So RPF is pretty vital, and this actually extends to matches outside a brawl as well. Having that information on where the enemy destroyer is can be incredibly helpful. Anyway, I expect that we'll make contact in a few seconds. I'm gonna simply stop right here, so that my guns are turned and I can get behind the enemy. Ooh, there she is! Oh, she doesn't have survivability expert! This should also give me an advantage, because I simply have a higher HP pool. It might be that she has spec for more DPM though, but I hope that my HP pool will carry me here. You know, having, what, 10-15% more HP can make a big difference. Oh, and there she is. Oh, and she's actually rushing me. This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna launch torpedoes. I don't expect that these will hit, but she'll have to do something about them. I'm gonna now use my reload booster and just keep going. Oh, and yeah, see? She had to turn for the uh, torpedo tubes, or torpedoes. Meanwhile, I am sailing away, which means that her torpedoes are way easier to avoid. And look at that, she's at 5k HP, I'm at 16k HP. So not only survivability expert, but simply, I guess, better positioning makes a difference. And I think this is it, right? 15k HP. Oh, there's another set of torps, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get her a moment before that. Yep, 200 HP, and goodbye. So, here's a few things. One, I had survivability expert. This meant that I would have an advantage in these fights. Number two, I used speed boost right at the start of the game, and I got into position before the enemy. The enemy attacked into me, which meant that I could play defensively. So I was sailing away from torpedoes, giving me way more time to avoid them, whereas he was sailing closer, which meant that he had way less time to react to my torpedoes, and had to pay much more attention to that. And because of that, I think I ha held the advantage. I could fire while he was busy dodging, because the turret traverse obviously isn't the fastest on these ships. But yeah, you already saw the captain skill build. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.